Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Atari A to Z, a series of short playthroughs of Atari 8-bit games, some which I grew up with, and some which are new to me. Today is technically one of the latter, although we have this on a disc, I can never actually get it running on our old computers, so it's not one I actually played back in the day, but I have become a bit more familiar with it since then. The game in question is Orc Attack, which was a 1983 release by Thorn EMI. And this was regarded as one of the most gratuitously violent games of all time at the uh, period of its original release. Um, and that was because it used things like boiling oil and uh, sort of edged, edged and stabbing weapons and that sort of thing, and heavy rocks being dropped on people's heads and bodies piling up and all that sort of thing. So it looks a bit laughable today, but um, yeah, several of the reviews at the time really pointed this out um, as if it was a, a positive thing. So um, Orc Attack was well regarded as a satisfying game as well as being violent. And it was uh, sort of a, an interesting inversion of the shoot 'em up formula, quite literally, in that you're throwing things down the screen instead of uh, shooting things up from the bottom of the screen, as you'll see when we start playing it. So, let's go play Orc Attack. Okay, here we are with Orc Attack from Thorn EMA. Um, yeah, so, like I said in the intro, this is uh, a game that we had back in the day, albeit in a pirate copy version, but I don't remember ever being able to get it running for one reason or another. Um, so I've become a little bit more familiar with it since then. Um, but I wouldn't say I'm super experienced with it or anything. So the basic aim of this game, uh, as you can see on this demo screen here, is to uh, defend your battlements from those orcs that are down at the bottom of the screen. And you do this by hurling rocks at them. Uh, eventually they'll start erecting ladders and trying to climb up to get you. Um, and then the conclusion of each level comes when uh, a pot of boiling oil has finished boiling and you pour it all over them. And then you repeat. And then as you progress through the game, more and more types of enemies come and start attacking you. So let's just jump right in and have a go. All right. So we move left and right with the joystick and you have a, a sort of peculiar method of movement in this game in that uh, you sort of push a direction to start moving and then you keep moving in that direction and then if you press that direction again um, oh dear not going well is it Yeah, I think we might have to start again in just a moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so so the movement is... It, it's not just a case of uh, push left and move left. You push left to start moving left, and then push right to stop moving that direction. So that takes a little bit of getting used to. And there goes my head. I'm dead. Right. I think we can probably do a little bit better than 125 points, can't we, now that I have figured out how to actually uh, control this. So, interestingly, you have, um, as you can see at the top of the screen, you actually, ow, you actually have, um, health as well as lives. So, you see, it currently says lives zero of six, so that means I've got no lives left, uh, but I have four life points left. And when the orcs reach the top, you have to switch to this sword here and actually sort of hack and slash them down to get them off rather than... Because obviously throwing a rock at point-blank range isn't particularly effective. But, well, there we go. That's orc attack. Let's try that again, shall we? Now that I have a better idea of what's going on. So, over to the side, grab a rock, wait for them to be in position, and then toss a rock where it will actually hit them. Now that's awkward there, because they are climbing up at a point where you can't actually reach them with the rocks, because the, the edge of the battlements are in the way. So in that case, you actually have to either let them 
knock that part of the battlements down. Or, um, hit them with the sword. We are actually doing a little bit better this time. This control system is quite tricky to get to grips with, though. It's very much an adjustment. Was oh, is that the boiling oil there? We need to sort of stem the tide of orcs enough to be able to go and pick that up, though, which is uh, not terribly easy. The rate they're coming. Oh, I'm a bit rapidly losing battlements as well, and I'm rapidly losing life as well. I think it might be all over for this life. Yep, there we go. There goes my head, and <laughs> I keep running in the meantime. Oh, fantastic. Right. So let's continue. It would be nice to be able to actually finish a level of this. Not sure I've uh, ever achieved that before, but we'll see. Ow. Arrow in the eye. You know, that would kill a lesser man, but not me. Not me. Oh, no. I do like how... Um, the rock sort of keeps going when it hits an orc and takes several of them down in one go. I think that's one of the things that those early reviews were describing when they were talking about it being very satisfying. Oh no, come on, throw the throw the thing. So did you just throw that anyway? Yeah, there we go. And that sets fire to everyone, including the ladders. There we go. And then they all fall down. And then all the bodies pile up. And you get a nice bonus for that. And then you proceed to the next stage. You don't repair your battlements, so interestingly. That does then mean you can toss things over the broken bits. Oh dear. Well, 930 points. That's a bit better than the first time around, isn't it? Right, let's try again. We're getting a better feel for it now. Yeah, it's all about mastering this control system, I think. And being able to accurately time your movements. And position yourself accurately. Which is not terribly easy. Those of you who have been watching this series for a while may remember that this, um, this part of the game kind of bears a bit of a resemblance to uh, the first stage of Quasimodo by Synapse Software. This was actually quite a popular style of game at the time. There were a lot of sort of Quasimodo style games that used this sort of inverted shoot 'em up formula. There we go. Nicely done. Onward to the next stage. So supposedly, the further you go in this, the more different types of enemies you encounter. So there's supposedly like a sorcerer and ninja orcs and all sorts of other stuff. Uh, but obviously that all depends on you actually being able to get that far in the first place. Which is by no means a sure thing. There's actually quite an interesting sort of strategic element to this as well, where if you look at the orcs who are sort of carrying the ladders and so on, and you can kind of prioritise your attacks. So 
so that none of them reach the top. Yeah, so there's a bit more depth to this than there might initially appear. Okay, over a thousand points. Onward. And you'll notice that if you hit the ladders with your rocks, you'll actually destroy the ladders as well. In most cases. Or in that case, the wall is in the way. And you can't quite hit them from there. So I think that's a case where we have to use the sword. There we go. And just keep them away for a bit. Out. You think he'd carry his sword with him, wouldn't you? Rather than just leaving it over at the side all the time. Uh-oh. Yeah, that wasn't going to end well, was it? Yeah, you've really got to sort of keep ahead of the curve if you can. Which is easier said than done. Try and knock down the ladders as much as you can. So in that case, I knocked down two ladders because they were in the process of putting one up at the time. That's it. So if you keep them under control like this and focus on the ladders that are furthest up, most likely to cause you problems. There we go. There's actually a, a little bit of AI going on here, isn't there? With them actually picking up and moving the ladders from one place to another in order to get themselves in a good position. Okay, I think we're good. Lovely stuff. Let the bodies hit the floor. I don't actually know where that's from. I've just heard it lots of times now. Oh, there's the sorcerer. What do we do with this guy? Do we drop stuff on him? Or do we have to hit the skulls? Okay, so it looks like we take damage if the skulls hit the top of the screen anyway. Have we got a bus fight? This is a bus fight, isn't it? Get loads of points for hitting him, though. So this is just all about speed, I guess. And deal as much damage as you can before you take too much damage. How do we kill him? Do we have to drop oil on him as well, I guess? I don't think it's going to matter in a minute. There we go. There goes my head. Well, that was much better, wasn't it? All right. Let's have one more try at this. See if we can actually beat that... Um, that sorcerer. So that, this skip option on the front page, does that mean we can go straight to that stage? So if we say... Skip one, skip two. Does that take us straight to... Yeah, it takes us straight to round three. So not quite a continue system as such, because I think you can... You can always do that skip and start from the beginning. 
that doesn't make sense does it you can always do that skip from like the first time you boot up the game you don't have to sort of get that far first before you're able to unlock it Get out of here. Ow. Yeah, so getting hit also causes you to drop your current weapon. So if you've got a sword... You will drop it at that point as well. Why is there always a bloody helicopter going over while I'm recording these? Yes, apologies if you can't hear that. Stop that. Does hitting the fire button while you're moving... Oh, it does slow you down and stop you. That's something, at least. That went badly, though. Alright, let's try that again. Only better. Ow. That's not good, is it? There's supposed to be like a super slash you can do with the sword. I think you're supposed to... It says in the manual that you're supposed to pull the, pull the joystick towards you, or push down as normal people say it. Um, but that doesn't seem to do anything. Oh well. Get out of here. No, well, that's that. I want to fight the wizard again. Maybe he was on stage four. So if we skip three, does that take us to wizard land? No? Oh, okay. So I, I guess the sorcerer must have been at the end of stage three then, because I, I remember it saying round three at the top of the screen. Maybe I'm misremembering, of course. That is always a possibility. I am an old man. Uh, but, well, you never know. I guess it would make sense. It would be kind of weird for a stage to be just one enemy. Even if he is a super tough, super powerful enemy. Like a wizard. Ow. Oh, that really messes you up when you get hit. Oh, there's a... Throw the oil! Nice. And then pile up the bodies. I think your bonus increases as the levels progress. Oh, there's the wizard. Alright, so I guess he shows up more frequently in these subsequent stages. So we just keep tossing those down there. Can you destroy these skulls? Is the question. You can! So I guess you need to kind of balance your time between destroying those and actually hitting the wizard. As much as you can. Oh, we're going to take that one. Okay. 
We have got another life this time around, though. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. Decapitated by magic. So where do we pick up from in this case? Do we go for the wizard again, or do we, oh, we have to do the whole stage again? The pace of this game is noticeably increasing as the uh, the levels proceed as well. Ow. Yeah, I think we're... We are fucked, Jeremy. Hit him. No, that's, that's getting hit. Yeah. Well, I think that's uh, a good overview of what Orc Attack is all about. As I say, there's um, supposedly some other types of Orcs you encounter the further you go in the game, but uh, I don't think my skills are quite enough uh, to be able to show you what the rest of the game offers. But that's giving you a good idea of, uh, of what to expect from this anyway. That's quite, actually quite an interesting game. I had um, sort of long assumed that this was a very simple chuck rocks at enemies game but there's there's actually a bit more depth and strategy to this and a bit more a bit more to it than might initially appear um and that's yeah that's quite pleasing especially for a game from 1983 very early game um so yeah enjoyed that good stuff that's orc attack from thorn emi as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again next time Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. New episodes of Atari A to Z are on Tuesdays and Atari ST A to Z on Thursdays. Check out Atari A to Z .wordpress.com for a full archive. Do please also check out my other projects, MoeGamer.net, where I explore Japanese and Japanese inspired games from yesterday and today, and VideoPackGames.wordpress.com, which aims to catalogue the small but well formed library of the Philips G7000 Video Pack Computer, also known as the Magnavox Odyssey 2. You can also support my work on Patreon or buy me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.